Make me swear. Make me. Man, Wilson, get up out of my seat, man. I got stuff to do, man. I got some new headphones I want to show the people. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. What in the Trail Lab Z7 Pro is going on? Because that's what I got in my hands, man. These are wireless ANC headphones. You know, I it's been a minute. Well, since, since I've done some over ear headphones, I really don't even do headphones and earbuds that much, but I gotta get my phone out my pocket cause you know, we gotta connect, get some sound. I got that song stuck in my head. Make me swear, make me holler, or make me water, that's what it is. I mean, I'm the guy that sings the songs wrong, Wilson. <laughs> I'll be making up my own words and stuff, man. <laughs> All right, let's check out the box first, man. All right, we got hybrid ANC, on-ear detection, touch control, built-in mic with ENC. I'm guessing that's environmental noise cancellation. Soft materials, comfortable fit, 3.5 millimeter aux cable included. All right, so the argument between the aux cable is about as, almost as old as the Android versus iPhone thing. Like who, who uses an aux cable? Right, I know some people like to plug in for gaming, plug it into your controller or maybe, I, you know, your studio setup with your PC or something like that, but Bluetooth headphones, man. <laughs> let's just live with it, man. Let's do, let's just do technology the way it's supposed to be done, man. But seriously, have you ever owned a pair of headphones without uh, a 3.5 millimeter connection? I don't think they should start that. Tread lap, don't be, don't be trying to innovate and be the first ones to do this. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. So we got a case, nice case right there. It's got the Tread Lab logo on there. Oh man, they actually, is that, is that sewn on there? It almost looks sewn, it's not sewn on there. But it is a nice case, man. Just in case you wanna travel and protect your stuff, throw it in a duffel bag or something like that. <laughs> Wilson, get in here for the unveiling, bro. Get in there, let me see. Oh yeah, there it is. These are, man, I was not expecting that. Were you expecting that one? <laughs> okay, all right, they look really good. All right there, Trail Lab, you go ahead. Let's see what these accessories are. All right, you got your stuff here, man. You got your USB-C charger cable, your 3.5, and you got the headphones. And you smell that? You smell it coming out of there? You smell that coming out of there? Yeah. You know what that smell is, baby. You know what that smell is, man. Hashtag new stuff. That's what that smell like to me. But they do have a solid look and a solid build. Look at that. That's that. This is my tribute to Jim's review room right here, man. Y'all remember Jim doing this? You remember, did you ever watch Jim's review room? Come on, Wilson, man. You got to do your homework, bro. Jim's review room, review, ah, can't even say it. Jim's review room, he would almost like break the headphones. But this, I'm giving you a durability test. If, for those of y'all who like to complain that my, my headphones snapped after like three days, what are you even doing? Because if I can sit here and do this, you're doing way too much with your headphones, man. Because these ain't even creaking, man. These are like silent. And these ear cups feel so good. Wilson, get in here and look at this ear cup. You see that? That's like a nice thick woman right there. You know what I'm saying? You just squeeze. And <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna get flagged on YouTube for this one. All right, man, let's see what we got here. We got, the headband is actually this, uh, it's not memory foam, it's just their traditional stuff, man. It's a little sponge on there, you got your Trip Lab branding. Then you got the yoke, everything looks traditional. But then you get to these ear cups and they've got this, this vinyl, man. I haven't seen vinyl on an ear cup since the Sony, It was that's what it was, it was the Sony WH-1000X. That was the first and last I've pretty much seen vinyl on, man. I like how they did this here. Wilson, we're gonna have to throw some B-roll on this. Then you got your charging port right there. On the right ear cup in the back side, you got your ANC on it, or ANC button, let's just call it that. Power, and then you got what looks like it could be a linking button. I wanna see what this is, what this linking is all about. Do they even have an app? I don't think Treb Lab has an app. So we're just gonna say no to that, but I gotta find out what this extra button is real quick. So bear with me as I go to the instructions. Typically I don't do that. I don't, I don't pull out the instructions cause I'm a real man and that's not something we do. But I need to know what this button is. Pairing button, all right, that's the pairing button. Since I got the uh, instructions out, we have controls. Okay, so we got controls on the right ear, uh, ear cup. We got up and down swipes for volume, up and down, and then you got back and forth for your tracks back and forth and or reverse and forward. Then you got a double tap in the center for your play and pause. So it's a lot like Sony's headphones, right? All right, you got your instructions there to do all this stuff, answer calls and stuff. Hey man, enough is enough. I gotta put these on my head. All right, let's, let's do the acorn head test. You know, I got this hybrid acorn peanut head and they feel comfortable. That 
yeah, I'm not feeling too much pressure right here on the top of my dome. You know, I got the little little point right there. That, that could be pretty painful sometimes if it doesn't rest right. Now these ear cups are cool. So these are my ears. I'm showing you my ears because some of you elephant ear dudes out there, you'll put headphones on and say the ear cups aren't wide enough. My ear lobes and my ears are like normal human size. I don't know what you rocking with, bro, but these fit right over my ears. I don't feel anything pressing up. And of course you got the memory foam, so it's kind of conforming to the side of my head and my ears. So check that out, just like that. You got your ergonomics. You got your controls on the back side right there, which is nice and convenient for the, um, the uh, what was that? What, what, what? Oh, A and C. A and C, you got your power and then you got your Bluetooth button, but then you got your, your swipes. You got your up and down for the volume on that, that vinyl. It feels good. And you know what else I noticed? Because it's vinyl, it doesn't give you that loud, jarring, scraping feeling that plastic does. It just feels, it, I mean, you can still hear it, but it's not like jarring and like, like plastic does on normal headphones. So I like that they put that vinyl on the outside. But overall, nice, comfortable fit. Let's get these powered up. I'm gonna have to look for my song. Made me swear, made me water, made me lose my breath. Let me, let me jam that song real quick so I get it out of my head. Let me see here. What's it called? Water? Is it called Water? Water by Tyler? There it is. Hold on. Let me get this. Oh, I guess I got to connect them first. Hold up, bro. <laughs> I didn't even bother connect them, man. Hold up. Okay, hold up. Let me go into my details. Let me hit that button real quick. Do you just press it or hold it? You got to hold it for like three seconds. And it says pairing. Let me kind of just refresh this. Ah, there you go. Trap Lab Z7 Pro. They really do feel good. Not too much clamping force. Feel they kind of feel light on the head, but you can feel grip on the ear uh, on the, around your ear, but it's not touching. All right, gotta hear my song. <clears throat> make me swim, make me holler. Oh, make me holler. Okay. <laughs> You swear, maybe it's it's is it holler or water? I don't like these lyrics. Let me crack this up, bro. I've been jamming a lot of uh, is it South African Afro beats? Is that what it is? I, that's what I've been listening to a lot of man who who do I want to listen to man let me <laughs> is is it is that what it is somebody in the comments let me know man and uh I really like this kid's Daniel song called Booga and uh man big flexa yeah. oh snap <laughs> did I hit it Wilson did I hit it okay <laughs> man I love that song Sham Fifty y'all gotta look this up man this oh man these Afro beats and this, dude, Wilson, I, I feel like, am I talking loud, bro? <laughs> like, about that? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so yeah, they do have the um, the automatic, what is that called? Uh, what is that called? On-ear detection, that's what it's called. They do have that, it just worked, let me see. Oh yeah, it's working. So you get some premium stuff with this, man. Like, that's a kind of a premium thing as, as far as I'm concerned, these extra sensors and stuff. Let me turn them off real quick. Me and Wilson cut for a second and he was talking and I put these on my head and he was talking at his normal tone. I'm sitting right next to him. And I'm just watching his lips go like this. <laughs> so the noise canceling it is really, really good. I was like, what'd you say? Put them on. I let him test it. He was like, man, that is really good noise cancellation. So I'm thinking this is a well-rounded pair of headphones, man. Treb Lab has literally been in the lab. I know you see what I just did there because the audio quality is far better than what I've had from Treb Lab in the past. Not that they were bad before, it's just that they needed some work on their mids and highs, whereas these are perfectly balanced. You're getting plenty of bass. It's not overbearing, it's not too boomy. It's like, it's good professional bass, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just clean bass, which is what I like, man. I don't like my bass all nasty and muddy. And then you got those mids and highs. They've cleaned up the mids and these to where they actually sound like a good pair of headphones that you want to listen to for any genre of music. Can you work out in them? I say yes, because they got the good clamping force where you can do bench press and jump around and stuff. But, and as far as like the overall volume, you're gonna get nice loud volume, but you gotta remember these ear cups are straight up vinyl. So you're gonna sweat like crazy in these things. So just be mindful of that. 
Um, as far as the build quality, you saw both me and Wilson were very impressed with the build quality and looks of these things. It's like you're getting lots of premium stuff in a not premium price and I'm here for it all day. Love the sound of these things, man. <laughs> Music makes me move anyways, but when it's good music, like when it sounds good, it, it just, I can't stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop, man. Anyways, I like them a lot. The Treb Lab HD, what is it? No, Treb Lab Z7 Pro. That's what these are, man. I'm digging them. If you're looking at something on a, on a nice, you know, easy budget for your wallet, that's going to sound real good. It sounds like you got premium stuff on your head because there's headphones out there that's costing up to $400 these days as far as Bluetooth, noise cancellation, and on-ear detection and stuff like that. And this premium build quality. I am here for it all day long. Either way, this is what's going to happen. Y'all going to keep being good to each other and I'm going to work on my dance moves. So you and Wilson, y'all get up out of here, man. I'm going to go ahead and crank this up, man. And don't be peeking around the corner either.